<laughs> Holy cow! Hey, what's up guys? I wanted just to wish you a real quick happy Easter and uh, this week we're gonna do some really fun things. Uh, we're gonna destroy some peeps. Um, got a couple interesting ways that we can do this, so uh, let's get started. All right, so first of all, we're gonna take uh, one of our peeps and put him in the vacuum chamber here, and uh, we'll see what happens when we, uh, when we put a peep under a very low pressure. Child-proof packaging. Yep. All right, so we'll start off with the uh, peep in a vacuum. Just get one of these little guys out of here. Aww, isn't it so cute? Stupid sugary peeps. All right, um, step one, hook it up. Step two, let's load it. Aw, oh, sorry, Mr. Peep. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put him up on top of this uh, glass here. Uh, a little plastic cup I cut, or I poked some holes in the bottom of it to let the air through. And uh, we're just gonna vacuum it, and let's see what happens with the peep. Ah, uh, it's gonna fall over. That's kind of a bummer. Well, let's reset and fix that. Maximum size. Now, if I let the air back into our vacuum chamber, we should see something really weird with the peeps. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're destroyed. Ugh. This is a. Uh... It's what they look like afterwards. They're a little deflated at this point. Uh, what we've done is we've sucked all the air out of the marshmallow at this uh, at this stage, so uh, the likelihood of them expanding or doing anything else here is pretty unlikely, but we're going to pull a vacuum on them again and uh, just kind of see what happens. So again, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot here, but we'll test it and find out. That's what science is all about here. So I'm going to connect this back up and we'll turn the pump back on. See if we can't make it happen again. curious how small we can make them there. <clears throat> Let's have a look now, a little bit closer inspection of our peeps. They are uh, definitely a little changed. Look at that. Uh, these guys are, uh, well, yeah, they're, I suppose, edible. Uh, yeah, you can still eat them. Man, they're just not as good as when I was a kid. That's a lot of sugar. Whew. 
Uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's one way we can destroy peeps, throwing them into a vacuum chamber. Pretty cool, makes them big, makes them little, makes them big, makes them little. I dig it. All right, so we're gonna try a little bit different method of destruction. Um, I've got a beaker on a ring stand here. I'm gonna put a Bunsen burner underneath of it, like so. And uh, we'll fire that up and get it warmed up with some uh, potassium chlorate in there. And uh, potassium chlorate is a chemical that they use typically for the screaming gummy bear. I don't know if you've ever seen that or not. Uh, you melt some potassium chlorate, drop a gummy bear inside, and wow, what a reaction you get. Um, but we're gonna try it with a peep because uh, I'm pretty sure that one of these little guys will give us a really good reaction with the potassium chlorate as well. Uh, so let's see what we can do. in our beaker here. Now it shouldn't take a whole lot. I think this should be plenty. Uh, we're going to go ahead and light the Bunsen burner down below, get it uh, melting this potassium chloride, heating it up, and then uh, we'll drop a peep in and listen to it scream for, for dear life. So it'll be good. We're going to totally destroy the peep. So here we go. <laughs> coat on here. I don't want this stuff all over my skin. That could be a, a real bad deal. <clears throat> anyway, our potassium chlorate is uh, just about done here. I'm going to use a little wood splint to uh, see if I can't break up that other clump. Just, oh my goodness, it's uh, <laughs> you gotta love potassium chlorate. This stuff, way too cool. Uh, instant fire just by uh, tossing the little splint in there. Super cool. Uh, so if it does that with a wood splint, you can only imagine what's going to happen with the peeps. Oh man, it's about to be a thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, Bunsen burner off. I believe we're good with that. So I'm going to take a, a peep here. Let me zoom in a little bit on this for you guys. I don't want you to miss out on the magic that's about to happen. There we go. I think it's uh, totally a thing. So now we're going to drop a peep into the beaker and uh, we'll watch this. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy crap. Wow. Uh, so... <laughs> Wow, man, I, uh, I, let's talk for a second. I am not ever doing the, the Screaming Gummy Bear again. I'm gonna stock up on peeps, and from now on, we're gonna use peeps for that reaction. Look at the, uh, I gotta show you this. Look, look at the, uh, the ceiling. <laughs> wow, I got a little, uh, little smoky in here. Fortunately, most of that's just water vapor, and uh, we've not really done anything that's too dangerous. <laughs> I uh, kind of 
like to play with fire sometimes. Shh, don't tell everybody that. But uh, I want to try just one other thing. And that is, I want to see what happens when we just burn the peeps. Uh, so I'm just going to get a hold of one with some tongs here, and we're going to put it into the flames. And uh, we'll just see what happens with the peep. Oh yeah, they're totally flammable. Uh, you definitely set them on fire. Uh, so yeah, definitely cool. So they are flammable too. Uh, if all else fails, just throw them in the fire, them stinking little peeps. Uh, just take care of them that way. It's a thing. I want to test one other thing real quick. Uh, there's a weird reaction between sugar and sulfuric acid. And so I've got a nice little beaker of concentrated sulfuric acid here. And uh, I thought because these uh, peeps are so coated in sugar, we'd try one of those in the sulfuric acid. Just see what happens. pretty nasty in there and uh, warming up some it's actually reacting with the sugar so uh, it's uh, it's an effective way I suppose to dispose of a peep but uh, you know I can think of a better way let's just put it that way there is a better way all right guys, that's gonna do it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's super fun trying to find some scientific ways to destroy some peeps, but ultimately, there's really only one good way to get rid of the peeps. I mean, honestly. Now that, my friends, is probably the best way right there to destroy a peep. I mean, what other way would you do it? I mean, there are some other cool ways like, you know, the potassium chlorate worked really well. Uh, sulfuric acid, not bad. But uh, this is like, I don't think it gets any better than that. Like, that's probably the best way to get rid of these. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun making this one. It was a really good reaction with potassium chlorate and uh, some super fun ways. Plus, I got to have a couple of these, so that was awesome. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button down below. Uh, leave me a little comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, tell me Happy Easter, because I'm telling you guys Happy Easter right now. I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend uh, next weekend. Uh, anyway, I, I appreciate you guys coming by and watching this. If it's your first time here, make sure you click the little subscribe button right down over here in the corner. And uh, aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Not really a fan of the peeps.